Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge from Jackie Partridge Art. Today we're going to be painting a palette knife sunset painting. So you'll need a palette knife, a small detail brush. This one's round, it comes to a nice point. Number six round, as well as a one inch flat brush. In my palette, I have um, some phthalo blue, titanium white, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, Mars black. I have a little bit of Azo red light or this orange color and an azilurin crimson. So let's start with the base and then we'll do our palette knife painting over top of that. So I'm just gonna get some of my orange color that I have. I'll mix it a bit with some white. And if you don't have orange paint, you can just mix some red and yellow together and add a little bit of white to yours as well. Some water on there. Okay. And then we'll get some of our yellow. This is kind of a yellowy orange. Um, some of our yellow. Oop, there's a bit of green in there. That's okay. It's just a base coat. So I'm blending it together with a nice wet brush, which is helping it blend nice and smoothly. And I can bring some of those colors into the water as well. And then you can get some of your phthalo blue. We'll mix it a bit with some white. And this is only a base coat, so don't worry if it looks messy or sloppy. Can add a bit of water. Okay, so now that we have covered that up, we're going to do our coat with our palette knife on top. Make sure your edges are all painted. All right. So we're going to start with our clouds. We're gonna do some kind of dramatic clouds. So get some titanium white and a little bit of Mars black. And then a tiny bit of red so that we're making kind of purpley gray color. A bit more black. We're just going to kind of dab, starting in the top corner. Kind of want these to be really big and fluffy. Have some of the orange and yellow kind of shine through. Just make sure you have some gaps in the clouds that they're not too thick or too chunky. Keep some of that orange and yellow shining through. Some 
putting not a lot of paint on my brush and just making it nice and smooth down here. Have another kind of cloud over here. And then we can add a little bit more white. Do some lighter clouds on the other side. And then carry some of that gray down in the water as well. As the reflection. All right, so then we're gonna just add some other bits of color into our sunset. Some red, some yellow. Can always put some clouds over top if you need to. Put some reflection in the water. Just doing kind of longer strokes to get it nice and smooth looking. And make sure you put some in the water as well. Okay. And we'll get a bit more bright yellow. So in our water, we can bring in some darker colors like some of our thalo blue.
can just use the different edges of your palette knife painting. Make sure you check out my palette knife painting tutorial, which is linked in the description if you are new to palette knife painting. All right, so now that we are happy with the texture, we're gonna go in and paint some of the details with our fine brush. So just get some black on there and we're gonna paint some rocks. If you have a lot of paint on your canvas, you can wait for it to dry a little bit. So our rocks are going to be different sizes and spaced out in different sections. So some are going to be closer together, some might be further away, and then we'll go on and add the highlights later to them. So they're just black for now. And just keep doing this until you're happy with the placement. Make sure some are bigger and thinner and fatter, longer than other ones. They're kind of smaller when they're further in the distance. So now that we have the rocks painted, we're gonna go in and add the shadows. So just mix some black with titanium white. And we want our gray to just be a little bit lighter than the rocks we painted, not too light. And just kind of brush it on the top to look like little highlights.
they're all kind of facing the same direction. And then you can get some of your thalo blue and just kind of brush it up onto the rock so they're kind of covered, they're not like floating there. Do any touch ups. Get some more orange in the water. And now we can do the trees in the background. So get some of your Mars black again on your fine round brush. Just gonna paint the horizon line. And get your brush wet. More black. Start doing your trees. Again, if you have a lot of paint, you can wait till it's a bit dry. I'm just doing some vertical lines spacing them with some different gaps. Some trees are a little bit thicker. I'm not making it too perfect because it's way in the distance. And then you can reflect a bit of that black water. Like that. And then to make our clouds a little bit more fluffy, I'm just going to add a bit more white to that gray, and a bit of red. And we'll just do some dry brushing. Kind of build up some layers, get a bit more white in there for some highlights. I'm doing short little strokes, layering them. And it's good to have a variety of different grays. You can watch my video on mixing grays to come up with some different gray combinations. And I will link that 
in the description as well. So just keep some highlights kind of consistent. And I'm just going to get some more kind of yellow here for the sun. Reflect that down here. Alright, so there we go, our palette knife and paintbrush sunset with some lovely clouds. So go ahead and give it a try. You can tag me on Instagram or Facebook at Jackie Partridge Art. Use the hashtag Jackie Partridge Art Classes so I can see what you're up to and like and comment on your work. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot to me because I work really hard at putting out new videos for you. So be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. Thanks so much for watching. Happy painting.